Hey everyone, I hope you're feeling experimental today because in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a camera obscura. Basically what I'm going to be doing is blacking out the windows of my bedroom and creating an inverted image of my neighborhood onto the wall. So that's pretty sweet. But before I go ahead, I really want to thank people out there who took part in my last video with how to make an Instagram wall and submitted their Instagram names. And uh, as a gift, I'm sharing something from Harvey Norman's two free 100 prints tickets. I'm going to complete that draw right now. Drum roll please. I'll just pick up two. Uh, the first one goes out towards Anna Fergsey. She's here in New Zealand, so congratulations Anna. And then the second one goes out towards Nathan Hall NZ, who's also from New Zealand. So congrats to you guys, I'm going to send out those um, tickets to you as soon as I can. So to go ahead and make our camera obscura, we need a few things to make this successful. Firstly, we need a room with a window and lots of sunlight coming through, and also an adjacent wall where our image will be projected onto. We need some blackout sheets, so this could be stuff like weed mat, it could be rubbish bags, it could also be really thick cardboard, something that'll be able to block out all the light from your window, preferably not your curtains. We need something that'll block out the light completely, like actually black. Black, black, black. We need a craft knife because we're going to be cutting a hole in the blackout and also we need some black tape. Finally, we'll be using some tin foil so we can make a really precise pinhole on the blackout. If you've got an SLR camera, it's really good to use one so you can do a long exposure of your projected image and then you can share it with your friends on Facebook. So with those things at hand, let's start off by taking off all the Instagram images. So I'm going to use a, a wide bed sheet and just use black tape and stick it up on my wall instead. Alright, now that's done, I'm going to start blacking out my window. Chucky! Oh, come on, I'm trying to set up my camera here. In 2006 I went to a music festival called Parachute and it's sponsored by a cool radio station here called Life FM. I actually stole this at the end of the, the festival because I wanted to put this up in my bedroom. So this has been on my wall for years and uh, I just thought this would be a great blackout. I also happen to have some spare uh, weed mat material which is just like black thick plastic which I'm going to just use along the top as well. We're going to be making a hole onto our black sheet over there and then with tin foil you can get more accurate with making a perfectly circular hole and uh, at that try and make it really small but we can make a few different size holes um, to get different effects. And come on. I'm just using a pair of really fine nail scissors. When all the... Ooh, shit is... No. Okay, we're okay, we're okay. When all of that is done, we need to try and work out where we want the center point of our image to be on the adjacent wall. So I want my picture to be centered about there so I need to make a hole roughly by where the E is. Woo! I see light! We'll take our tin foil and just stick it over that. When that's all done, we just turn out the lights and enjoy the show. Now at this point, don't fret if you can't see a thing because your eyes will slowly adjust, but sure enough, an image should start to appear. Ta-da! How cool is this? So basically everything is inverted, the sky is going to end up by my bed and like the road with all the cars is going to end up by the ceiling. Um, so yeah, I can show you just some of the things that have been projected onto my wall now. So here are some cars going down my street. Just pointing at the ceiling now, you can see my mom's roses that are just outside my bedroom window. Just next door is my neighbor's car, and if I head outside, you might even see me as well. Opa Gangnam Style! Yeah, so that's all. I'm headed back inside. If you're interested in knowing why this actually works, you just need to understand the basic principle of physics that light travels in a straight line if unaffected by gravity. So what's happening here is with the hole that I have here in the Life FM poster is that light is going through the hole and then projecting onto the opposite side. So say for example if the sky is up above it's going through the hole and is ending up straight down here below as you can see it's lighting me here. Or if you've got the ground like the rose bush just in front of my bedroom it's going straight through the hole and hitting my ceiling and then you can see the roses on the ceiling which is really cool. The of the hole the more in focus your image will be so if you do have an SLR camera and lots of patience you can actually get some really sharp images like some of these 
Thank you so much for watching today's video. In conclusion, I encourage you to make your own camera obscura because the images that are produced with this are so much fun to analyze with your family and friends. If you like this video, please help me out. Why don't you share it on Facebook and Twitter? And of course, do subscribe if you'd like to see more videos much like this coming up in the near future. Once again, thank you so much, and I hope you have a great afternoon. See you later.